In this video, we're replacing a compression water shutoff valve on a copper supply line for a toilet. The total cost for this project was about $40 for a new shutoff valve, cover plate, supply line, bucket, and a compression sleeve puller tool. This project took me just under three hours to complete. The materials and tools needed for this project are two adjustable wrenches, a bucket and a small towel, a replacement water shutoff valve, a new tube flange or cover plate, a compression sleeve puller tool or a pipe cutter, plumber's cloth with abrasive grit, and a new braided supply line. On the supply line, the end connecting to the shutoff valve is usually 3 8 of an inch and the end connecting to the toilet fill valve is typically 7 8 of an inch. They come in different sizes, so select a link that allows for some slack. First, locate the main water supply valve and turn it clockwise to close it. Flush the toilet to remove most of the water from the tank and the bowl. In the lowest level of your home, open a faucet to drain the remaining water. Place a towel and bucket under the water supply line connection to catch any water. Disconnect the water supply line from the toilet tank. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen and disconnect the supply line from the old shutoff valve. Be prepared for some water to drain out. Drain remaining water in the pipes from the shutoff valve by placing a small towel over it and using a bucket to catch the water. I filled and emptied a one quart bucket multiple times until the flow was reduced to a trickle. I then allowed the remaining water to flow directly into the bucket until it stopped. Use two wrenches, one on the valve's middle and the other on the compression nut to simultaneously loosen and remove the old valve. Avoid turning just the compression nut as this will only spin the entire valve. To ease removal, align one wrench handle to the left for the compression nut and the other to the right for the valve, and then squeeze both handles together. To verify the removal direction of the compression nut, turn it from left to right on your new valve. After removing the valve, only the compression ring and nut remain on the water pipe. The compression sleeve can be very difficult to remove due to its snug fit after being in place for years and often requires a sleeve puller tool for removal. To use this tool, adjust the screw so the brackets fit behind the compression nut, screw the compression nut onto the threaded portion of the gold ferrule nut, and turn the handle clockwise to walk the compression ring off of the water line. This does take some force, so use a towel or something for cushion to protect your hand. Once the ring is removed from the water line, it can be removed from the tool's silver cylinder by placing the gold ferrule on top and using a rubber mallet to free the ring. Be sure to protect your floors, especially if you are working on tile. Clean the copper pipes exterior and interior with a plumber's cloth using moderate pressure. Rotate the cloth around the pipe to remove dirt, debris, and oxidation, creating a smooth surface for better connection and reducing the risk of a leak. Be careful not to cut your finger when cleaning the interior. Try to always keep a cloth between your skin and the pipe. Replace the tube cover plate if desired. Ensure the new shutoff valve comes with two compression sleeves and nuts. For this installation, we'll use only the larger compression nut and sleeve as the supply line replaces the need for the smaller ones included with the valve. If you're planning to use a thread sealant, apply a thin coat to the valve threads. Slide the larger compression nut and sleeve onto the copper pipe, then slide the shutoff valve onto the copper pipe as far as possible. Hand tighten the compression nut onto the stop, and then using two wrenches, Tighten it an additional three quarters of a full turn from the hand tight position. Turn the valve handle clockwise so that it's in the off position. Reconnect the braided supply line from the toilet tank to the new shutoff valve and tighten it securely with an adjustable wrench. Slowly turn the main water supply valve counterclockwise to restore water. Inspect the connections for any signs of water leaks. And if you notice any water leaks, tighten the connections a bit more. Open the shutoff valve slowly and check again for any leaks. With the new shutoff valve in place and leak free, you're all set. Check out this video next if you're planning to replace your toilet as well.